Man, I cannot believe it has been over a whole month since I have been messing with Bitwig. On August the 4th, I did a video on my top five reasons that made me make the switch. And if you need to see that video, it's right here, right now. Moving on past that. Now that I've been dealing with Bitwig for over a month now, there are five features that we have to talk about that combines where I came from to where I am now and why these features are so important to me. Let's talk about it. Now, before we get into the video, make sure that you all subscribe to the channel. Make sure you like this video, make sure you share it, and make sure you hit that bell notification just in case the algorithm get thrown off and then when I post a video, you don't see it. But if you hit that bell notification, you'll know every time I post a video. I don't wanna hold you too long in this video, so let's go ahead and go. Now, the first thing I wanna talk about, and this is in no particular order, but these are just, you know, random order, no, best to lease or anything like that but the very first thing I want to talk about is how easy it is to add automation now when we look at this this is just a uh, this is analog stream normal stream we all know about shout out to output and what I want to do is add some automation to the filter here and of course I'm using complete control so we can actually just uh, use the automation here right so all i'm going to do is hit record and play and if you'll notice down here there's a little blue icon right here and it just automatically picked it up now if i play this back It just plays it. That is crazy. That's crazy. Just one click of a button. Now, this example that we're gonna look at, this is Arcade. Now in Arcade, of course you have your four macros. And what I wanna do is I wanna add automation to space. So I'm going to go here and I'm going to signal to Bitwig that I want macro one right so i'll go ahead and right click here i'm going to map to controller or key if i click that you see that it turns and all i have to do is turn the the knob on the midi controller i can do this with any controller that i have it's not set to just uh native instrument or it, you, you can do it with anything that has a knob with midi control you can add that controller just that easy. Mind blown. Now, the number two reason, the second reason that I have fell in love with Bitwig is shortcut. Now, anybody know I came from Studio One? Studio One allow you to shortcut everything. Um, I went to other dolls. I'm not going to name them here today. That is not important. But they do not allow you to add those uh, shortcuts. So. In Bitwig, they do allow you to add shortcuts. And all you have to do is go here. And if you go into settings, you can go down here to shortcut. And here you are. You can add all these different shortcuts. Now with the keyboard, all you have to do is go here. If you double click on the plus sign, it brings it up here. Which key do you want this to be? Now this is saved as a uh, template. So I'm gonna just put command C and there you have it. Now this is saying that it's been added to another shortcut which is fine i don't want to add it here but i just want to show you how easy this is even more crazier than that you can even add to your controller so i have the uh, machine micro and then with the machine micro i'm in midi mode 
I am using battery a whole lot more now just because of Bitwig give me options to do different things that the machine does, that, that native instrument does, which is cool. But if I can do this in the DAW without having to go back and forth between the two, I will. So I've been using battery four, which is amazing. I love battery four. I've always loved it. I just had so much more control with native instrument. Uh, doing the actual doll and using it as a plug-in. So check this out, right? So if you go down here to this little area here, now this is play transport and stop transport and toggle record now. So now that my machine is in MIDI mode, I have it set up to play, stop and record directly from my machine. So if I'm actually drawing, doing some drums or anything that I'm doing on my machine in MIDI mode, where well I have it set up that I can stop play and record directly from the machine. That's crazy. That's crazy. Now, the third thing that has just been a idea creator for me, for me as a producer, this has just kind of sparked everything and that's using the sequencer and the grid together so when i'm in here and i'm just trying to come up with some ideas um i may start with an idea here in the sequencer. now you can use both i can take it all the way off or i can have both here and create using both all right so in this i originally started this track in the sequence mode this is sequence and i'm just kind of adding some different things getting some ideas all that good stuff now i can come here this will give me the piano roll down here at the bottom it just it just create you, you you're able to create something in these different spaces that you don't have to worry about the full idea at this point you just kind of create so once i created a couple of patterns i got the idea of the song I go ahead and add the grid area and I'm calling it the grid that may not be it because I know there's something else called the grid on here too but right now we're talking about this area where you adding things now so the original idea that I had here was this particular track here That was the original idea that I came up with, right? So now if I go here, I click this, this is gonna switch, this is gonna unmute all of the actual grid that's on here, right? So now if I play from the grid, so now, So now I have added these two worlds together to create a sound, create a vibe, right? So there is this little area here, right? So let's just say I wanna come here and I'm playing this part. I have this part going. And what I wanted to do was, I wanted to add this bass. I didn't want the original bass. There's a couple differences that I wanted to add for this particular section. And so now that I'm in part two, I'm just gonna click this because I don't have a base there yet. So I wanna add this particular base just to check it to see if it will fit. So I'm gonna click this. So there is a couple differences in this particular bass uh, versus the first one that I had. So with those little differences, it fits the uh, drum pattern that I'm gonna be adding to this particular section. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm just gonna take this and put it here. And then I'm going to open that up. And now you'll see. That's crazy. 
right? So now I've added the idea to the section. So if I'm in this section and I'm just trying to come up with something, I don't really know. It's kind of like a scratch pad almost. But once I get it, I can actually drag it into the actual grid of the track that I'm doing. Crazy, 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 crazy. Just insane. Now, number four, we are looking at hybrid tracks. Let's just say if I want to take this particular track here, right? And I have the chord. I have those chords, right? So what I'm going to do to save space, I'm going to go ahead and bounce this down. Now I have set this up uh, to control B just like I would normally do in Studio One because like I said again, you have those shortcuts. And so I'm going to add this bounce, right? And so this is a wave file now. Now, what you will notice is, is that over here in this little area, this thing is showing a wave and a MIDI. And so if I click this, I still have access to the actual plugin that I'm using. And I also have the wave file. So if I wanted to keep this and drag this actual wave file, to another spot, I could and drag that down, but I still have my arcade here, right? Oh, uh, that's crazy, man. That is, that is, that's really, that's a really dope thing uh, that you can, that you can save it like that. Let's just hypothetically say I want to leave it like that and I just want to continue making whatever I'm making. Let's say on the other one, let's just say hypothetically, this one right here was a different thing. This was this was something different, uh, especially with arcade. You just never know what the loop is going to do or which loop you want to use. Well, I can come here and bounce this one and still keep my MIDI on the other one and have this one just bounced. I can do it like that and just continue going. These are hybrid tracks. That is crazy to me that is very very insane thing so man that's a good one that's a big one for me that is a big one all right man and number five number five has caught my attention in ways i don't think anything would have grabbed my attention in bitwig and that is the operator now with the operators um let's just say i am in this drum pattern here this, this is a drum pattern i created and the actual drum pattern itself i'll just kind of play it simple drum pattern right nothing out of the out of the norm just a simple drum pattern now as you notice with the hi-hats this right here it's just hitting one time, just one time, right? So I can come over here to the operators and I can turn this on. As you can see, these little markers happen in the middle, right? These little markers here. So now when I play it, that's crazy. I can take this one, do the same thing. I'm gonna take it four times. Right, and you can line it up. You make sure it's lined up and all that good stuff. But man, <laughs> whoa, that 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 blew me away. I saw that it goes deeper. I haven't dived in deeper than that, but that was enough. That right there, and these are just things that I'm using on a regular basis. But that one, that's a game changer. That one was a game changer for me. And uh, and if you see here, there's different expressions. There is, you can add panning pitch. And so you can really dive deep into this thing. I, I have not really played with it enough to just really know how to operate it, but that one thing was enough to grab my attention. So, so as you see, man, Bitwig is a production heaven. <laughs> you can do so many different things in Bitwig. 
it is uh it is made for the producers and so shout out to all the guys over at bitwig making this thing man y'all are continuing to update doing different things it is so many easy things you can do in here it is just unreal there you have it man so as i would ask at the end of every video man what will you do with your creative spaces man peace out